Yo, how- Oh, wait. Oh, God, I think I broke my damn chair. Yo, how's it going, everybody? My name is Armando, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. So, guys, this is part two out of three on topics I wanted to talk about that can both inform you and more or less... More or, less. or more or less help you in what you're trying to do. For example, editing, designing, Photoshop, etc. Or YouTube in this case. So guys, everybody knows, or well, my friends know, and some people know that I love editing. I love Photoshopping. I love using Adobe After Effects. I mean, I haven't learned it yet, but it looks amazing to use. And honestly, editing was found thanks to YouTube. I mean, back in 2012, you know, I wanted to make videos. I wasn't very good at it. All I did was take, you know, as you can see in the screen uh, below me, all I did was take footage, put music, and commentate cuts here and there, and yeah, that was pretty much it. And all I used was what everybody used back in the day, Windows Movie Maker. It was honestly the cheapest because it was free, first of all, and it was the easiest to understand. There wasn't much to really understand about it. You copy and paste your videos onto it, do what you want, put a little bit of transitions, transitions here and there, and you were done. But obviously, over the years, I began to evolve my editing because I was like, you know what? I'm going to take this a little seriously. I'm not just going to do this as a hobby. I want to bring it to the next level. So I went to something called Sony Vegas, which is this little image right here on the left side or right side. I'm sorry. I'm just my first time kind of commenting on camera like this. Sorry. Yeah, let's cut that. <laughs> so, yeah, I started using Sony Vegas. And let me give you a bit of a sneak peek as to what that felt like as you can see here the interface is a lot different i still have it in my old laptop i stopped using it altogether when i found premiere pro but as you can see the interface comparing it to this is just is night and day you know you can't compare this to this so when i first opened this up i was like damn yo how do i edit on this and it took me quite a while before i started figuring everything out you know what they say the more you do something the easier it is to understand that's what anything you do you know so you know, on my on my free time, you know, I imagine a 15 year old, 16 year old learning how to use this program. Uh, I would try my best to get the hang of it because I would watch other YouTubers and I was like, damn, yo, how do they make their videos look so clean, so professional, have great transitions. And then I started researching it and found out that this one was one of them. But the thing is, if you wanted to buy the program, it was like four hundred dollars. And I was like, what the freak? I'm not going to do that. So. I went online and I basically pirated slash found a cracked version of it. So I went on it and I found a cracked version of it. And of course, like I told you, it was a very different style. As you can see here, every little clip you put here, there was a soundtrack, there was an audio, there was a video track, there was cuts, there was transitions, there was join through, there was this, there was that, there was effects. It was a, it was a completely new playing field. But I digressed and I said, screw it, let's learn it. And I began to do it for the next, I believe six years five years i started i did sony vegas and then eventually i went to college i basically started talking to people and all i could see was my favorite program which is which is adobe premiere pro now guys this program is honestly so amazing it's i can't tell you how good this program is don't get me wrong sony vegas is a next is a huge next level from windows movie maker or whatever you use whatever first program you're using because honestly when you get on to sony vegas and then you move to adobe premiere adobe premiere in my opinion i feel like has no equal but again i'm talking out of my ass okay because this is what i use so far i'm using so far and maybe i'm going to use something even better but for now premiere pro i feel like it's so simple so basic okay for example let me give you an example okay, this is a project that i'm working on okay uh, sneak peek to the new series that me and fran are working on it's called dev hardcore dev hunter 3d keeping a lookout i'm telling you guys i was i've been working on this and just by looking at all of this you guys are thinking damn yo what is all this you know what is this what is all that so this is where your media goes okay very simple media goes right here that way you don't have to keep on opening your dot your folders and and then dragging it from here and there because that's that was the one thing i kind of struggled with big is i had to keep on dragging it from here but then again maybe my dumbass couldn't figure it out because you know i, I was just too lazy to learn more about it but for me premiere again so simple to use the media is right here uh and all you do is just you know you keep dragging you keep dragging you keep dragging and let's just say you want to use another effect all over again there will be the effect this is uh the soundtracks the audio all right so you don't have to again you don't have to keep going back to documents and then you know go okay uh where, where's my down oh my downloads and then i drag this right here you know you won't have to do any of that so of course what made this so simple was you know everything was right next to each other for example here's my razor tool once i you know cut something i would instantly go back and press c and it will go back to the, to the you know to the selection tool 
so I don't have to keep pressing S. I don't have to keep on going and doing it manually. You know, I stopped doing all that together and my editing just basically got faster. That's why, that's why I'm able to, you know, push out videos even quicker than I used to back when I used Sony Vegas. And Sony Vegas honestly got boring because I couldn't do much with it. You know, the effects are all right here. All of them right here. Sony Vegas happened right here and they weren't really clear on how to look for them. They were being such really weird um, titles. For example, I if I remember correctly, there would be th something called Chroma Cure, something called uh, TV effects and something like that. It just wasn't, you know, clear. And here, you know, there will be things like audio effects, audio transitions, video effects, video transitions. So you know where to look. You're not going like, okay, so Chroma Cure and that, and that's that. And where I find, you know, for audio, you know, every, all that would basically be, you know, a thing in the past. But is this program free? No, unfortunately, unfortunately, I was trying my best to find a parody copy because I'm like, I just want the editing program. But you're a college student, you know, and you have a, you know, a college student email or whatever. If you put that in this website, just give me a second. Sorry. So if you go to Google and you search up Adobe Cloud Download Students and you go here, I mean, right now they're having an offer, you know, 70% off Black Friday, amazing. And you go to sign in, blah, 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 I'm not, you know, and you put in your email, for example, you go and create an account and you go and put in your student email here above the email address and you create one with it, it'll, it will automatically give you a student discount. So instead of paying 40, 50 bucks a month, 60 bucks a month for the whole package, I'm talking about the whole package. For example, you get all of this, it's called the Creative Cloud Desktop, right? You get all of this Photoshop, uh, Premiere Pro, F After Effects, Medium Quarter, all this, all this for $20 a month, $20 a month. You, you know how insane that is? You get professional apps, for twenty dollars a month. That, that, honestly, when I first found this out, I didn't believe it. And the way, I, and the way I found it out is because I used to work in this uh, restaurant, and there was this professional editing guy. He used to work for Hollywood or something. And he goes, "Hey, man, I see you're into editing." I'm like, "Yeah, I know a little bit of thing about it." And he says, "Hey, why don't you get Premiere Pro? You know, what do you use?" I'm like, "I use Vegas." And he looked at me like, "Yo, you're wasting." Your like he didn't tell me, but he, I could tell by his eyes and his expression, he was like. Oh man, you're wasting your time on that stuff. You're not going anywhere with that. But he didn't tell me that because I kind of knew in the back of my head. And he says, yo, get, you know, Premiere Pro. You know, if you're a student and you log in with it, you get every program for $20 a month. And I couldn't believe it. And when I did it, I got Premiere Pro for $20 a month. So again, I highly, highly recommend Adobe Premiere Pro. It's honestly the easiest editing software I've personally ever used. It's so easy. No competition. I don't have, I'm not really raging at like, oh my God, this is so annoying. Oh my God, I just clicked something. Oh my God, everything is a mess. You know, it's just so nice and clean, you know, and everything is organized. Video one, A1, A2, A3, lock this. Don't let this be edited, blah, 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 blah. You see, it's so easy. All right. So if you guys are looking into getting into editing or probably going into the next level, take it one step at a time. Don't rush anything, you know, only continue improving on editing when you feel like it's time to improve it on editing or like you just want to pursue it as a career because trust me there are hundreds millions millions of editors out there that can probably well i'm almost sure can out edit me in an editing competition but i strive to become better in what i do so again you know if you're editing for the first time don't be ashamed using a shitty program because i started with a shitty program i used windows live movie maker and then eventually like i said i started building on my fan base and i was like they deserve better let me go to vegas you know i'm tired of vegas vegas sucks let me go to premiere pro and i'm probably gonna stick with this for a very long time so yeah guys i hope you guys enjoy this little quick video i you know i'm in total, it took about 12 minutes. I'm looking at the camera, but I'm going to edit this down as short as I can because I don't want to sound like I'm stuttering or stumbling too much on my words. But yeah, to those new editors that are coming into the into the playing field, good luck to you. Everybody has their thing. Oh, and I almost forgot. Um, don't try to copy somebody else's style. If you do, I mean, try to find your own style eventually. Be unique. Be yourself. I mean, I basically found my own style just, like I said, editing for the last nine years. Because trust me, some people work well with just a simple cut and a simple transitions, but it's because it works for them, you know? Don't try to be someone else, be yourself, because at the end of the day, people want uniqueness, you know? They want to have something new to look forward to, you know? If, if, if we're all the same, why are they even gonna bother watching us? So be yourself, guys, you know? Find your own effects, find your own transitions, find your own, you know, your own story to tell. So yeah, that's all I gotta say for this video, guys. I really do hope you enjoy my, uh, again, five, six minutes uh, video. But yeah, this is Armani signing off and I'll see you guys very soon, all right? Take care.